Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been on um, on Warframe um, live, I should say. But I have uh, gotten Dante, and but I haven't done any of the new stuff. So I've been holding this one off for a little bit. So let's actually see what's going on. Oh. oh, I don't mean you, of course. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you're a friend to the Lavorian. Yeah. He just wasn't enough. So when Parvos made me an offer... Oh, that... Thought, oh, why not? Just yeah. Let it go. Let it all go. Let it go. I didn't have the impression that um, Drusus, um, the uh, the caretaker of this place, was actually a Cephalon. So that's actually kind of interesting to me to actually figure out that detail. I guess we'll take a look at the uh, Leverian of Dante himself. Oh. Hi. You find me now amidst the bones of all I am. Oh. The thing that mattered most to me in my too long life. I've made such a terrible mistake, you see. In a universe at its own throat, where every living thing works daily to keep body and soul together, there's not much appetite for history. For mm. stories. The Leverian may not be a real place, a place you can reach out and touch, but to reality, it was anchored. Mm -hmm. Reality demands a tithe. It takes coin to keep this place rest, mm -hmm. this shrine to memory, and a savvy businessman I was not. That's all right, man. We're going to help you. It happens, man. Time makes fools out of most of us. Loss. No. Oh, shit. My bad. Perhaps only in ways that I can see. Though, by definition, a weapon of war, Dante was, first and foremost, a student of history. Mm hmm. And he was my friend. Oh, you were your friends. Much of the Leverian would not exist were it not for that bold, two fisted academician's devotion to both myself and the cause of better understanding our history. Well, what if he's actually here? Uh, uh huh. He's a piece of shit. Hmm? Needed the money. Regret. I do not know what possessed me in that moment. I have no need for money, or food, or shelter, or care. Perhaps I merely felt my time was done. 
uh, Friendship. Friendship. I would give much for my friend to have been here. Dante and I, we tempered each other's unique compulsions. You would have liked Dante, I feel. I bet I would. His end began, as it did for so many souls, with the Entrati family. Oh? The patriarch of that benighted family had fallen into decadence and disrepute. His name sullied by controversy and implications of madness. Then an erstwhile associate of mine, a gentleman by the name of Lloyd, a master in Trata oh. man for more than a lifetime, well, vanished. Lloyd, his master, and his entire lineage just gone. What have I told you? What have I told you? Lloyd's awake. Would that change some things? Possibly! What's this? Failing? No. There were rumors, of course. Master Entrati was known at that time for outlandish claims <clears throat> and questionable <clears throat> science relating to voices he was hearing, I believe. Gods from beyond He's here. and whatnot. After the disappearances, Dante never one to let a good mystery go, insisted on infiltrating the Entrati manse and learning the truth for himself. Okay. However, being more familiar with the uh, confidential details of Master Entrati's interests urged him otherwise. I suppose <gasps> you wonder why it's the card! Such a thing. If I believed Master Entrati... Awesome! Dante's tale deserves to be known. So, allow me to relate it as he passes it to me. Dante ventured to the deafeningly silenced halls of the doomed Entrati lineage, encountering automated defenses gone senile and violent, chanting in an unright dialect that slurred thought and annihilated hope. That wrong-tongued language invaded Dante's mind, infecting it with the one thing he was defenseless against. Oh. Of knowledge. Okay. Makes sense. He said that a parasite is life from without the body, fighting to exist within the body, despite the body, even as it risks the body. What then do we call knowledge from beyond our reality, demanding to be let in? Poor Dante. If only he had recited to me sooner the wrong tongued words he had heard, I could have told him, you know. That I had heard that language before, once, long ago, from the lips of Pavos Granum. Dante found it, you see. Dante found the book. The Dante I knew was many things, but he was not weak. That's right. He struggled, fought, refused its knowledge. There was a moment I knew. When that chill indifference felt it had won. In those moments, I was with him, wrestling the foul thing he had unlocked. And possibly, though it cost him dearly, he was winning. But, miserably, I knew the equation was not so simple as that. I told him, Dante, what you have found can never be brought forth. Parvos must never know of this. 
I felt the chill, the awful loneliness of understanding wash through him. I sensed the moment he chose, and I felt Dante give up. When he died, I almost died with him. Mm -hmm. But the book, the word, did not permit Dante to die. Oh. In the violent diplomacy which ensued rewrit the very fabric of who he was. I understood Turn on the heat and paint. On that journey with my old friend from night to day. Things mm. which could not survive. Fucking shoulder. Would have forever made a lie to me of science. What became of him and what stars he may have traveled to is unknown to me. What that wrong tongued voice may murmur in his mind on long nights, I'm not sure I would want to know. But I know it teaches. It teaches because it longs to be known. And in being known, it exists. And in existing, it survives. I imagine you surmised why I have summoned you here. To ask that, in the name of whatever friendship we share, to lend your aid to my... Okay, so that's what happened. Okay, so we got the Prex card because we now have Dante already. Um, let's see, but what's Lloyd got for us? Let's see, Tenno, I have only just now learned of my old uh, friend Drossus and uh, Laverian's uh, predicament. I believe I can, um, I believe I can help you help him. Albrecht's old uh, conduit network has everything uh, Drossus will need. Access the conduits in the Armatus node of Deimos through the Sanctum Anatomica. Come see me. Um, I may even be able to help you recover his trusted colleague, the Warframe Dante, from Lloyd. Speaking of Dante, this is my um, actual version of him. Um... The way that I actually got this uh, color scheme is uh, from a certain Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, they recently are, are they're celebrating uh, a quarter century, Yu-Gi-Oh is, and they made a um, special version of like a Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl card. And um, I decided to kind of borrow from that color scheme and use that for Dante here. And I have to say, like, Dante overall is a very fun uh, Warframe. And one that um, sparked a lot of change uh, from the game. Because here's the thing. Is that I'm convinced that Warframe desperately wants to really make its fans happy. The reason I say this is because, um, okay, sometimes whenever developers make changes to characters, it's because um, players figure out, excuse me, a way to play a character that is fun, but is not how the developers intended it. And the players may push back and be like, nah, 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 man, like this, that was good. That was really good. Like what you had going on. Um, and I don't know all the details of it, but here's the thing. Most developers are like, no, this is how we're doing it. This is how it was made to do it. They just don't give a shit. But I believe what happened was, is that that same predicament happened to Dante. And then the developers went. You know, if you guys are having fun with it working this way, then yeah, we'll let you keep it. But in addition to that, if we're going to make this work this way, then there are multiple Warframes that we actually need to look into 
and make the same kind of changes. So Dante, um, as a frame, um, actually affected a lot of other uh, Warframes, particularly uh, ones with line of sight abilities. So it's kind of interesting to kind of see something like that. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, I'm talking to uh, somebody online, and uh, she says that Wisp is one of her favorite frames. So I'm willing to bet that she's probably looking at this, and she's, like, super duper excited. Um, hold on one second. I want to be sure about something real quick. Before, uh... Before we really keep on going. Let's see. Do, 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 Okay, cool. I'm just making sure that I'm actually up and everything like that. Because I couldn't tell. Alright. So, um... See, let's actually go into... Yeah, uh, let's go to the Sanctum. I'm gonna try to uh, look at a couple of things while we're in here. And uh, like it says uh, in the uh, title card, um, we may go into Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, a little bit later. See, research Dante. That's right. So you can do this kind of stuff, and you can earn Dante by doing this kind of mission. But I think we will actually try that out. Let's see. Let's go up. <laughs> I like that um, he tries to be, like, super official and shit like that. That's cool. Alright, let me take a look at some stuff. Uh, my neck and my back. My neck, my back, my neck and my back. Mm -hmm. 7,500, huh? Okay. Still adjusting to this year. Oh, yeah. There we are, Definitely do that. And a Shrell Voka, cool. Will there be anything else, Tenno? Oh, and we can get a little bit of a pricier one. Cool. The debris of monstrousness. Let us learn from it. We appreciate I wait upon your pleasure. Let's see how much Okay, I actually have a good chunk of uh, platinum. I was actually very confused because I got some platinum out of nowhere and I don't know why. Let's see, bounties. Oh yeah, that's right, there's Steel Path bounties now, which is fucking great. I have to say, like, that, that's awesome. I'm happily tempted to just do this. Let's see, what's the, uh... Oh, it's assassination? Disruption, extermination. The enemy does not sleep. A good day to you. Hmm. Let's actually see... There was another mode that I want to kind of check out. Okay, so Netracells. Hold on. Let's take a look at something. Let's see. Revisit Inaros. Dive into challenging content. Mm. 
Necroloid. Where's... Where's Necroloid? Necroloid? Where are you? Yeah. Yeah, our, our work goes on, blah, blah, blah. But... Necroloid. Come, come. We have much to accomplish. Where is he hiding? <gasps> I found you. Right, yes. Hello. Um, look, bits of a situation. Oh. Archimedia. Volatile experiments connect the dots, but with one small wrinkle. If we don't keep the murmur contained, the family is going to become aware that all is not well in the basement. A basement that they cannot know exists. In an unexpected turn of events, Lloyd has tasked me with the responsibility of ensuring that this does not come to pass. I don't know if your guess is as good as mine, but here we are. So, how do we do this? Oh, right. That's my job. Um, come on, Pickle Lloyd. If we bollocks this up, we'll never hear the end of it. <coughs> Tenno! Okay. So we have these missions. And we have, um. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so this is how we're doing things. Castle War? Oh, I would have to do all that. So an Archon Shard or Melee Arcane, same thing. We could do that. Let's actually try this out real quick. I wonder I wonder if I could even get close to trying to do this. I try this. Um Yeah, this is what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to get uh I'll get frost. Let me get the one primary that I do actually have out of that selection. See if I have anything worth a damn in it. Okay, that's not terrible. I could probably do something with that. Um, ooh, the Grimoire is already in his hands. That's good to know. And finally, the Castle War, which is actually not going to be that bad. Because this used to be the weapon that I used for, um, for a uh, Hydroid all the time. And what is this? 
Oh, wow. I can actually make this much better. Like, much, much better. So, let me do that. And... Do I have a ribbon for the Castle War? I forget if I do or not. I might. I do not, but that's fine. And I, I won't need it. Okay. So I need the combo. Okay. So it's not a big critical um, weapon, but that's fine. So now I need one more thing. A uh, Voltaic Strike is what I need. There we go, Voltaic. Ooh, wait a minute. Actually, it's at level 30, so I can go ahead and put one more uh, Forma in here to make this shit work. There we go. All right, let's take a look. Voltaic. All right, 95%. I think we can make this work. Lloyd has tasked us with finalizing several experiments, and there will be no coming back until the job is done. We are alone. We must conquer or we must die. If we fail, we fail life itself. If we succeed, may our sacrifice be forever unknown. With me, friends, to war! Alright. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna find the fuck out. Well, technically, technically, yes. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. All right. Maybe I could coast off of just um, using the Casa War. I might be able to. Okay, so survival, mirror defense, and then assassination. We should be able to make this work. Okay, so... Oh, okay, we got a quick creep here. We got Corvex, so that'll probably help. Just depends on what everybody else got um, partnered up with. Saren? Okay. And I got Growls here, who can probably turn me invisible every so often to escape. I love the sound of the Geiger counter count coming off of them. Okay, here we go. Can we get one more? We just need one more. Ooh, wait a minute. I actually have Reeve. So I could recover... What else do I have to myself? I forgot what I have on this build. This may not be quite as bad as I thought it was. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta survive for ten minutes. Here we go. We. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, we can kill stuff. It's working. Ooh. Okay.
the hell is that? Oh god, I think it's creepy as hell. Do I have it? <gasps> Arcade ultimatum! I can make it. Wait a minute, that's right. I got the book, bitch. Nice. Oh shit. Yeah, we need to get the fuck away. Woo! Fuck up on out of there. Rouse has recovered, that's good. Ooh, and he turned me invisible. Disable security. If we can get our necromex up in here, that would be great. But I would have to find a terminal. Let's see. We really are just in survival mode right now. Wait a minute. Battle Rogue... Oh my god! I didn't know! I didn't know that's what it meant! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that. I, I just don't. I have here a toothsome conundrum, which I believe you will find quite Okay, let me see something. If, um... My back. What's the gold reward? Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Those 
Let me take a look here. So it just has toxin. I don't get that. And then galvanize scope. If we're gonna do this, we need to have uh, radiation damage. So we can just have that radiation, and then what is okay? It would be in. Let's see, impact wouldn't do too much to that. Galvanized chamber, galvanized scope. And we got 13 more. Like, there must be something I could put on this bitch that would be really good. Critical delay, point strike. Did I put vital sense? Okay, yeah, I put vital sense. Um. Fuck. When in doubt, more multi shot. The grimoire. I need to see. Okay. So that was uh, what was going on. So I need to have radiation damage for this. Can I, like, copy this? Let's see. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Um... I'm going to try to put in... Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Did I put in... Okay, galvanized diffusion. Galvanized diffusion, hornet strike. Okay. Hornet Strike. Vome Invocation. Okay. Let's see, and what was over there? Lethal Torrent? Okay. So we got Lethal Torrent there, and I'm guessing... Yep, Galvanized Shot. Good to know that that's the only one that can go there. Augur Pact. Okay. Easy. And then our elementals. Okay, so we're going to do radiation for this. Um. Hmm. Jolt. And Scorch. Okay. And does Cassavor have that? Okay, so we're doing Corrosive right now, so all we gotta do is that? Okay. And what do I have here? Okay, so I'm still trying to actually get this. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Oh, we can't do that. Well... I don't know how many adapters we actually have, but I'm doubting that this would be worth it. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna take... I'll take boots with me. And we're going to try this again because boots might be able to just pick me up. If I need it. But I'm more than willing to just do uh, 25. Because uh, the fact that a Tau, that a tau Forged shard...
Yeah, we're just gonna have to see. Ooh. God. So ammo diff uh Okay, so that's that's one big one is uh we can't do transference, so we don't have the option of picking ourselves up, but we gave it to ourselves basically by including boots. Because uh, since Boots is a uh, Vasca um, Kavat, that means that uh, it can potentially uh, pick us up if we get downed. So I think that's kind of worth it. My back hurts. Come on, you cowards! I want an easy towel forged. Come on! Oh yeah, I don't know if I actually uh, was able to show it, but I don't think I ever did. I uh, I got a uh, hydroid finished. And what I mean by that is uh, he now has, I think, two green um, Tau Forge shards, both for the same thing. Um, the extra uh, corrosive damage, or the extra uh, damage whenever you cast abilities that is corrosive. And then I got the purple one, and then I got two blue. So he's done. <clears throat> So it'll be interesting to, um, like, try to do some other stuff with some of the other Warframes. Like, uh, Dante, I have an idea, uh, with him. And, um, essentially, like, his dots are supposed to get buffed. And, like, he's able to inflict a whole bunch of dots. So, for the first time, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make his main attribute of choice fire. So that, uh, I, I just kind of like the benefit of fire is that, like, if status proc hits, they get panicked. So that's kind of where I've uh, arrived on that front. But... That's weird. Let's just uh, let's just get back and see if uh, we can maybe. Oh God! Let's see if maybe we can just do this again, and then maybe we'll just get better luck going into it. How many points do I have? Okay, I got it. Okay, so I could change my weapon. Okay, so this is... I think I actually have... Okay. Okay, I think I get it now. So if I forego all of these, these are each individual point. So I would still be entitled to this. And then... I could take one of these off. I think. I think that's how it works. So let's actually try to put ourselves in a... Uh, Put ourselves into a uh, 
situation in which we can succeed. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, I'm very confused. But. Let's do this. Um, because. Putting the grimoire on may not be such a uh, such a stretch. Let's take a look. Several experiments are threatened by the murder as they near completion. We shall protect Master Entrati's good works via a three-phase response. Prepare well. Before the foe is laid low, we shall not return. Okay. Um, what about Yeah, we're doing bargaining at this point. Scourge Prime. Actually, I think if we just put Castle War on, we should get what we want out of this. So yeah, let's put on the Castle War. Let's take a look now. Okay, and now we can actually take off um, one of these. To which I think that art, no. Let's do that and we could probably get away with um we're just doing this. We're just doing the weapon. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, Scourge Prime, sorry, bud. Uh we're gonna go with We're going to go with the weird rifle. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're still in it. All right. The reason I um, kind of chose uh, Dante to do this is because I'm not probably going to be using his weapons. I'm probably just going to be using his, uh, his tome. If anything. Okay. We got a Wisp, uh, Colervo. Good. Oh. Alright. We'll see how this goes. I want to try and get a run under our belt that actually works. Whoa. Uh-oh. Something's up here. Well, it's a good thing I ain't gotta worry about that shit. Uh-oh. Okay, so the attacks are working. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, okay, there we go. That was weird. All right. Woo! Uh-oh. Hey, y'all all fucked now.
There we go. Dante's back from the dead. He's taking all of your shit. Whoa. Okay, so they want a gathering place, apparently. Or my teammates do. So I'll oblige. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, I Okay, now I can do it. Woo. Sir. Reduced by 45 seconds. I'll take that shit any day. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened to Dante? He just decided that, like, he wasn't taking any shit anymore. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, I think Dante is one of the best frames that they've come out with in a very long time. And the fact that he raised a lot of frames up uh, whenever he did come out is even better. Ooh. We're killing it. All right. Mm. Oh my god! Man, fuck the weapons. I got a book, bitch. I got a book, bitch. I got a book, bitch. Ooh. Oh my god. This is fucking incredible. <laughs> Falcons go! Da 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 da! Falcon Ranger! Da 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 da! Fuck your shit! Yeah! Da 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 da! Doing stuff! Yeah! Da 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 da! Fucking up this thing! Did that thing's health go up? I think. I think I really need to ask that question. And boom! Hey, guess what? And uh, boom! Gotcha! Oh, 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 we're melting you. He's melting. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. It has been a longer than I would like to admit that I have played Warframe, but holy fucking shit, man. Whenever you get on a roll... That's what this is all about. Dante doesn't need other weapons. He just needs his book. 
That still wasn't bad, though, I have to say. Why am I regenerating Overguard? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say no. Ooh. Go. Woo. Hooray. We did it. Again. Is this the one? Yep. There we go. Books for everyone. Everybody gets to read. Reading Rainbow. I blew that motherfucker up with the power of paper cuts and magic. Gotta love that. Oh my god. Woo. There you go, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh. <gasps> Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I don't have the power to transfer. So I guess whenever you say, like, I don't want to do transfer, it's you're also locking yourself out of Necromex. Uh oh. Oh, my God. God dang. Get the fuck up on out of here. <laughs> Evacuate. Let's see, did we get breaks in between these missions or is it just one stretch of time? Because I don't think I read that. If it's one stretch, I'm fine with it because this see, this seems to be... Hey there, bud. There you go. Wee. I did it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Ooh. Melee arcade adapter. Okay. I'll take that shit. Oh, wait a minute, we're going into the next mission. Yeah, okay. Oh. All right, overguard time, everybody. Uh-oh. I need energy. Somebody better clear these fuckers out. Uh-oh. Oh, oh goddammit. Wait. I still have another book. Come on. If I could just get one good bit of energy. Ooh, there we go. Arcane Grace, gotta love it.
see, is it this and this for the eagle? Yep, go! Or the owls, I should say. Yeah, fuck all that shit. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, about that, yo. Next one. So we got three waves of this, and I don't think we really uh, suffered that much damage, so I will take that as a victory. Uh-oh. We gotta get over there. We gotta do stuff. Hit him in the sack. Hit him in the sack, motherfucker. Hell you. Or something like that. I don't fucking know. Alright, so we got some. Oh, well, I think we got some extra defenses, didn't we? Ooh. I think we're alright. Yeah, I think we're all right. We go. All right, this is working. I wonder if the modifiers actually change uh, week after week, because that could be a really big thing, too. Okay, so we almost got wave one down with hardly any effort. Oh, wait a minute. To reduce timer. No, we don't really need that. We just do this. We're fine. Is that? Alright, here we go. Alright, I think we did pretty good there. Oh, there we go. Guys, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You guys make me happy. Just don't take my sunshine away. Just keep on, just keep on standing there. It just get melted.
Oh shit. Can I? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> it seems like Dante or a exalted weapon Warframe is a good pick to uh, bring into here because that way you don't have to worry so much about uh, which equipment you bring. Just as long as you bring the Warframe of your choice with you that can pretty much do the job with abilities and stuff like that, then you're good. Which is why I think, again, Dante is just proving its worth tenfold. It doesn't need anything besides its, besides its book. Could it synergize well with other stuff? Of course. But as of right now, this dude just slaps people up. Like, this dude slaps people up like he, like, he may be fucking gone tomorrow. Like, he's trying to make a last impression on you. That is how hard this dude works. And he does everything. He damages, he supports, he gives everybody a nice big chunk of overguard. There we go. Something I would say, though, is to remember whenever you do this mission to bring shit that's going to have um, radiation attached to it. Because uh, radiation is these guys' uh, kryptonite. So another thing, too, is uh, if you're like one of these guys, or if you're like the last group that I had that had a Corvex, Corvex isn't a bad pick for this either. But then again... Like, it really depends. You may want to, um, to get that super hard difficulty. I'm not quite sure. I wonder if there's a way to access the super hard content with just a loadout that you know. Um, and that you know works. There we go. And just like um, the grimoire that you get just from doing the story, this thing has unlimited ammo. Like... I think it only requires, like, a couple of energy a shot. But if you can get your hands on shit like uh, Arcane Grace and stuff like that, and just stack your energy up, you should be fine. The power! Is this the last one? Jeez. What are what our next rewards gonna be? Okay. So we're about to find out if this is actually the last one. Yeah, we did it. Okay, that's good. <gasps> Amber Towel Forged! Yes! Okay, I want a um I want a amber and a uh and a uh red. 
or crimson uh, Tau Forged so that I can make an orange for uh, for Dante so I could try out some uh, fire based um, enhancements. Hell yeah. This is worth it. Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, we need to do that first. Final verse. Yeah, I, uh, I just need to get over there. Come on, some. Let me get Arcane Grace. So I can just get a pocket of energy. Woo! Oh, bitch! Right there! Maybe while I'm chasing them down along the way, I'll find that some of them dropped energy? I don't fucking know. Ooh, okay. That helps. That helps a lot. Okay. Okay, I didn't really see the kill animation on that, but I know that they added them. Okay, we're getting closer. Shit. I got red crits. That's fucking stupidly dangerous. All right, now I'm capped out on energy, so anything I want to do, we can do. Including prep. Dang it. Whew. 
All right, we just need one more. All right. Time to take down the target. Yeah, this has been, uh... This has been pretty good. Like I said, like, as long as you can get, like, one or two things in your favor, you should be all right. I'm ready. All right. Here he comes. It's the fragmented one. Ooh, bitch. Support time. Oh, my God. What's up, Asher? How you doing? I just got fucking distracted by all the bullshit. Okay, it's halfway down. Everybody pick shit up. Woo. God damn. Round two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Oh, God. That's a big whatever that is. A big chiller went clothes shopping, grocery shopping, and helped two people with their 3DSs. That's awesome, man. That's good for you. I'm proud of you. Ever tell you I'm proud of you, champ? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. No problem, Junior. Oh, my God. Launch the artillery. Yeah, I actually found out what my internet issue was, and it was actually something that I'd never considered before, um, Asher. And it was the actual regular ass Wi-Fi adapter that my computer uses to connect to the internet. And I started thinking about it and I was like, you know, it makes sense because like most of those that are just included um, with computers are not made to do anything extraneous like streaming or business related or anything like that so you may have to go out of your way to actually get something that will do it and i did do that and so far 90 percent of the time i don't have any issue with uh internet stability anymore in fact uh downloading and uh uploading uh speeds have increased by like the download and upload speeds have increased by 30 percent and, um, like I said, the stability is much better. Like, I, like, in, like, 11 out of 13, like, test streams that I've done, I've only had one where I actually drop, like, above 15% of frames. And I actually had one to where I decided to just leave a test stream on for six hours. And what happened was, I, um, I didn't lose but, like, 16 frames in, like, six hours overnight doing a test stream. So, I found a problem, I corrected the problem, I'm very happy. And I'm just trying to get back to where I do this on a regular basis. Like, you may have seen where I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, uh... Strangely enough, um, turns out I'm pretty decent at it. Like, I'm actually getting wins in ranked with stuff I like, which is crazy to be. Because usually, like, if I play any online game and use something that I like, it just doesn't end very well. There we go. All right, so we got an Amber Talford shard. What else do we get for our reward? Melee Crescendo. I'm trying to remember what Crescendo is. Is Crescendo? That's why I'm against uh, Meta Slaves. Dude, I was whipping, like, I was whipping shit up with some dumb stuff. Like, some really dumb stuff. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay. Cool. So. Okay. Whew. Okay, so in Trotty, Lanthorn was a reward. Uh, Melee Crescendo was a reward. Two Melee Crescendos? Okay. 
threats from the murder. Hmm. Nay. Rip from his teeth all that he has taken and teach him this. That woe shall be his sole reward. Prepare well, for we shall not return until the experiments are secured. So I'm guessing that we would have to pick a Warframe. Yeah, I consider Metaslaving to be highly fathers. Dude, I was whipping shit up with stuff that just looks fun. Like, I would purposefully be like, oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon is really fucking popular and shit like that. I'm going to use Red Eyes Black Dragon and... It actually carried me through, like, a whole rank. Like, from, I think, I think from silver to gold, Red Eyes Black Dragon carried me that far. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to use the meta, and I never did. But the fact that I don't have to use meta, and I can win, is pretty awesome. Like, I have, like, three decks, three or four decks right now that have nothing to do with the meta that I can whip out, and I'm like, this could win. Are there times when I get really bad hands and I just don't have a way to respond? Yes. But, um, I've had, I've actually won more than I lost. I'm, uh, about to be, like, diamond rank on um on uh master duel now so like to me i'm just like what is going on like i should not be able to do this yeah like i'm i'm shocked i'm like and not only that but like the thing about it was is that there were brand new people like coming into the stream and everything like that and watching and commentating and being like get that combo bitch and I'm just like hell yeah. So I'm like am I really about to make Yu-Gi-Oh another big part of the stream? And I think the answer is probably yeah. Like, until the game beats me into the ground or something like that, which it really doesn't. Like, like, um, like I have Red Eyes, uh, Black Dragon slash, uh, Red Eyes Archfiend, uh, or, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend deck. I got, um, Fur hire with uh Tri Brigade mixed in, um Revendred um stuff with other zombie stuff mixed into it, Albez, uh Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like, I got enough decks to where like if I just notice that I'm getting stomped into the ground, I can always just try something else. Which is again something else that's very good, is that I have a variety of things that I like that again. I know that I could win with, which is still very weird to me. It is a new experience. Um, because that's kind of what stopped me from wanting to play the game before is that the game has a solo mode to where you can learn storylines of archetypes of cards and stuff like that. But that content was limited and I'm like, Am I going to play this game outside of the solo content, which eventually will run out? And one day I just kind of decided to pick it back up on a whim. And I started racking wins and I'm like. Like, I, I don't know. It's a very strange thing. When you're used to being the guy that, like, plays the game and has fun and then just gets dominated and then doesn't want to play anymore because he just got his shit kicked in. To, like, oh, wow, like, he could win three out of five um, matches that he does. 
it's it's nice. And not only that, but they actually had a really good event um, not too long ago. Um, or actually, they still kind of have it going on. Um, the dual triangle event to where it has like you can choose between three different modes of summons. Uh, fusion, Synchro, or Xyz. Um, and um, each one of them have three loader decks, and you can use those to battle. And um, that shit was so much fun, because it would pair you up against people that picked the opposite um, ones that you did. So... I fought a lot of people using um, using Fusion because I chose Synchro and I chose the Crimson King starter deck, which is based around uh, um, Red Dragon Archfiend. And that shit was so much fun. Like, learning how to play that deck was so awesome that I was just like, dude, I gotta make this. And then eventually I was like, what if I combined it with Red Eyes Black Dragon? It was cool. But anyway, you know what? I think that might actually be it. I know that this was a shorter stream, but um I will um I will probably come back to this. Or well, hold on one second. I'm I'm gonna think about it. Let me uh let me BRB real quick. And, um...